All right, this morning's hunt, I seen three bucks and four does. The two bucks might, that were in the distance, I ain't getting no footage of. They were probably shooters. They looked pretty decent. I just couldn't see them with anything quick enough and too far. I looked down with my scope and didn't have time to get the camera on them. Doesn't have that great zoom anyway. Um, so I'm going to hunt that again this afternoon. It's a pretty nice spot. I like it. Um, I keep getting winded, though. I must stink. Something's going on. Well, they're catching my trail or smelling me, even the cattle downwind. So we're going to go back there. I'm going to bring my dad back there, too. There's a tractor out there. There's a tractor out there that he can sit on, so we don't have to move his stand. He's got a ladder stand out there, and he hasn't seen anything out of that stand yet. Where I'm at, I keep seeing deer. I seen seven this morning. And a little four-pointer walked under me following a the doe. There's there's a lot of deer around. So I'm going to put him over there, too, closer to where i seen them bucks. And right now, I'm at my old spot, and uh, I put him on the other side. And I'm going to, like, wind bump through and see if he can get a shot off on one. See if he see if I can jump one up, see if he can get a shot off on one. And if I do, you, I'll show you the video through my scope. But I'm not bringing the camera. All right. This hunt was a five-day hunt. <clears throat> it's a quota hunt in Alapata. Um, Saturday and Sunday I hunted all day. Monday I took off and then I decided after going to work Monday that I had an hour or two of light left from daylight savings just changing. I decided I'm going to go in to hunt the morning for an hour or two before work every morning. So Monday I went in and I spent an hour or two where I seen that big body deer Saturday morning move closer to where I seen him. And I didn't I didn't see him. But and then I went out Wednesday, the last day, and uh, I decided I was gonna walk right up on the bed where I jumped that buck before. Um, on what I on Sunday. So what I did was I, I walked all the way in and I had my dad on the far side of the oak head where he was running last time and there were a few does and stuff come through out there. So hopefully one push to him, but when I walked through, I, I walked in at dark and then I sat out there and I waited. I seen, I think, seven deer before, the, before I started walking towards his bed. And... Um, I walked up on his bed and he wasn't in the same exact spot that he was the first time I seen him, but he was like 20 yards before it. Kind of caught me off guard, but I was still able to shoot at him. I shot four times and I, I looked for blood for two hours for that deer. And I walked through the whole head, walked to my dad, walked it back, and we looked for blood for two hours. And I, I felt like I know I hit him. But I could not find any blood, and I couldn't find a deer, and it was just total loss of where he was. So what happened was I was on Facebook looking through some stuff, and I seen a post where somebody took a picture of a dead deer. And he asked if anybody lost a deer 
out in this area. So I messaged him and I'm like, that looks like a deer that I shot at and I couldn't find. And I got more specific of where it was. And he's like, yes, this is your deer. Same, you, see, you seem like you're in the right area. And it's not too close to a road. So it's not like somebody's going to just walk up on the deer easily. you got to actually work to get in there. So um, I went and I met up with him. And I retrieved the head back. And I checked in the deer. I claimed it because I did kill it. And bad part is you know the meat meat's been spoiled for days and i think he found it uh three four days later and my dad went back later and he found turkey buzzards in that area but couldn't locate the deer <clears throat> so it sucks and it's unfortunate that we lost the deer and lost the meat but um, it was cool that the person that found the deer was able to was what didn't take it and just claim it for himself he he put it out there and it was allowed me to go at least get some closure to it so I want to thank him for that I think his name was Ronnie and um, yeah. that was my that was my alapata hunt I seen a lot of deer I did kill a deer but I did kill a nice buck I just couldn't do it and bring them home with me on that time at that time so maybe next time